Well, hello, and thank you for visiting my YouTube channel, GB Books for Kids. I am the author, and you can call me Nana B. The book I'll be reading today is titled Buggy About Bugs. This story is about Garrett Bradley, but you know what? Garrett Bradley gets into some mischief because he doesn't listen to mom and dad. All my books, the series, can be found on Amazon in paperback and digital formats. Before I begin reading this book, and by the way, I may not get through all the pages, so you'll have to come back to hear the ending. Let me review with you some of the other books that you may be interested in. Let's see, the next book in Garrett's series is titled For Pete's sake. What do you think this story is about? Yes, it's about a snake. Mikey is Garrett's best friend, and Mikey gives Garrett some very good advice. Let's listen to him. Mikey said, did you ask your mother if you bring Pete home, will it create a huge bother? Does your mom like snakes? Or does she shiver or shake? For goodness sakes, Garrett, you should have asked first. Mikey was right. And you know what? Right after that, Mikey said, if we don't hop on the bus, Mr. Gus will leave without us. This has a very, very mysterious ending. You will love it. The next book to the series is titled Boo, Garrett Boo. Can you tell what this story is about? Mm -hmm, bet you know. It's about Halloween. Garrett loves Halloween. But it's not just getting the candy. He's got an ulterior motive. Mm -hmm. And Mom and Dad have told him that they don't want him doing this. But you know what? Garrett's got his own hmm, will. <laughs> Free will, we call it. And sometimes he doesn't like to obey Mom and Dad. But Boo Garrett Boo, let me read you just a little bit about it, and I bet you'll understand why Mom and Dad were mad. The fun thing about Halloween is to scare the girls and make them scream. When they see my skeleton mask, they will say, Oh my! But when they see my spiders, I will make them cry. I am the scariest of them all, said Garrett, who is talking to his mirror on the wall. So you see, Garrett wanted to scare everybody. Mom and Dad weren't too happy about that. Great book, and the ending on this one, oh, funny, funny, funny. The next book to GB series is this book, and it's about chocolate rabbits. You know, at Easter time, we have all those lovely, colorful jelly beans. And we get those chocolate bunnies, long ears. I can remember many, 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 many years ago biting the ears off my bunny. My sister never touched hers. It was Halloween by the time she finished her bunny. Mine was gone in a day. But anyway, this book is how chocolate rabbits came about. Let me read you something about this book too. How did chocolate rabbits come about? Something Extraordinary happened at the Easter parade. The story is egg sighting with an egg extra dose of funny. Beware if you dare, because you will fall off your chair laughing. Excellent. Great book, and you'll be able to read it one, two, three. The last book to the series, not really the last book, because I am writing Stop Your Crying, Leo Lyon. This book is, can you guess, about Christmas time. And there's Rudolph, and Rudolph sees something that he didn't like. And you know what, Rudolph? 
Sheriff did, he ran to tell all the other reindeers, and all the reindeers got mad. And that is why this book is called Reindeer Rumble. So when Santa got on the sleigh to bring all the toys to all the good girls and boys, the reindeers were grumbling. Reindeer Rumble. It is a great story. You will definitely enjoy it. And like I said, all the stories are on Amazon. Getting back to Buggy About Bugs, let's go ahead and read some of these stories. But first of all, I'd like to tell you that this book is dedicated to my grandchildren and to my two new great-grandsons. Their names are James and Tobias. My grandchildren are, and they're all grown up. They're not little like you anymore. They're Tyler, Kimberly, Kyle, Caitlin, Carolyn, Marcus, Allie, Carmen, Bridget, and another Caitlin. There are other children who are grown in my life also, and they are Preston, Owen, Stephen, Silas, and Desmond. These are my family, and I just love them. So I wrote the book for my family. So let's learn a little bit about Garrett. The story begins now. Garrett Bradley is buggy about bugs. He loves bugs so much he gives bug hugs. Some bugs fly high in the sky. Some bugs flutter and chase after each other. There's some pictures that you can see. I'll do that occasionally now and then. Bugs can move slowly. Some bugs can hop. Garrett brings bugs to the store where he shops. He brings bugs to the store. How can this be? Where does he hide them so his mom cannot see? Way down in the pocket of Garrett's blue pants, I bet you will find six marching ants. Ooh, itchy. Let's take a look. Can you count them? One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're carrying flags, American flags. When Garrett goes shopping, watch him and see. Sometimes he takes a red spotted beetle or a tiny, tiny black flea. One sunny day, Garrett's mom said, let's go to the store to buy bread. We need a gallon of milk, four red apples. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four red apples. And yummy yellow cheese. But Garrett, don't bring your buggy friends, please. Garrett and Mom to the store they did go. There's a secret that Garrett's mom doesn't know. In the backpack that hangs down to Garrett's waist are not his pads of paper, two pens, two pens, and white paste. Garrett emptied his backpack and left his artwork at home. Garrett could not leave his new buggy friend alone. Into a jar the bug did go, into the sack the jar did not show. This is the secret that Garrett's mom does not know. Shh, don't tell her. Mom parked the car in a parking lot. She even found a shady spot. Into the store they both did go. Garrett's mom still doesn't know. Inside the backpack that hangs to Garrett's waist are no are not the pencils, pens, pad, or white paste, but a jar with a bug, and it's as mad as can be. The buzzing creature wants to be free, free like you and me. Take a look at those pictures. Wow. God bless America. While waiting in the fruit aisle, Garrett took a peek at his jar. Mom wasn't looking. She was thinking about cooking until she turned, yelled, and shrieked. Garrett, that's a very angry bee. Do not open that lid. Do not open it here. Do not open that lid. Do not open it there. Garrett, how could you? You did not listen to me. Look at your bee. Its wings have turned blue. Do not take that lid off, whatever you do. 
Look at that mad bee. Woo! He is really mad. Garrett looked into the side of the glass. The bee was buzzing very fast. All Garrett could see was the point of his stinger aiming at Garrett's pinky finger. Ouch! Garrett jumped back and dropped the jar. The lid flew off, sliding very far. Can you guess who escaped and flew away? This is Garrett's saddest day. He lost his bee. Where did it go? Garrett may never know. Mom said to Garrett, where is your med bee? It is not buzzing around me. It's not buzzing around you. Tell me, Garrett, what should we do? Mom and Garrett searched everywhere. But Mom saw the bee in the shopper's hair. She warned the lady who was picking out pears. Let me show you that lady. See? Hey, lady! holding a pear. There's a mad bee buzzing in your hair. Do not be frightened. Do not be scared. There's an angry bee stuck in your beehive hair. The shopper laughed. Did you say a mad bee in my beehive hair? How did a buzzing bee get there? I don't hear a bee buzzing in my hair. That is so silly about a bee. That is the silliest thing to me. All of a sudden, the woman was alarmed. The frightened lady waved her arms. She leaped here, there, and everywhere. Can you imagine? The bee was trapped and it could not budge. The frantic shopper yanked off her wig. Oh my, the wig fell on the fudge. The bee was buzzing and it could not get free. The bee was as mad as a buzzing bee could be. The bee is thinking about a boy with a jar who took him for a ride in his mother's car. That boy has gone too far. I will teach him a lesson. Do not play with a bee. I will sting him on his arm, his belly, and his knee. He won't get away from me. With one big whoosh, up flew the wig. The bee was buzzing awesomely loud. This unusual noise drew a humongous crowd. Shoppers were scared. They ran out of the store, dropping chips, ice cream, and shopping bags all over the floor. Wait, there is more. There is more? Yes, the shouts from the shoppers were obnoxiously loud. Outside of the store, it drew a huge crowd. Let's take a look. Can you see? Wow. So the shoppers ran out of the store. There's a big crowd standing outside of the store. What's going to happen? I will have to tell you more. But you know what? You will have to come back and I'll finish your story. So for today, I hope you enjoyed the start of Buggy About Bugs, GB Books for Kids. You can find my books on Amazon. Nana B says, see you later. Y'all come back. We love you.